Hello, welcome back to Map Time with Professor Prime, and I am your host, as always, Professor Prime. Behind me is the periodic table of music genres, and I might make a separate video or attach it to this one where I go in and uh, zoom in a little bit more and just like show you all how it looks. Um, but ultimately, I might just shoot a link in the description so you all can see that a bit better so you can get an idea of what's going on uh, or both. We'll see. But either way, uh, I had talked to some people um, who had been viewing some of my videos. The content was never a problem. Uh, the lighting was in some videos, some earlier ones, and I've been trying to figure that out as I go on. And um, so another thing, though, was just like there's nothing in the background really like on the wall or anything um for all of the videos so that was what was happening while i was building some things up so now that we're past 30 videos i wanted to mix it up a little bit and you know let some people know that have made the suggestion that i did hear you <laughs> it just takes some time for me um and i went with this for a few reasons partially because it's just awesome Periodic table of music genres. That's just cool. I mean, in periodic table of elements is awesome and all, but can it beat music? I don't know about that. You be the judge. <laughs> but anyway, what they have there is like a lot of genres and subgenres, and uh, so it's pretty cool. Um, but in addition to the cool factor, the idea for me is like there's a lot of math in music and that's amazing um and a lot of music and math <laughs> you could argue there's a certain rhythm to it, a certain flow you're saying something you could you can argue <laughs> um but more seriously one of the things that i will make in a video on um in the near future is the art in music and uh blah, blah, blah the music in math. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> the art in math and the math and art. And if you're wondering why on earth I left that in instead of, you know, backpedaling, while it is nice to do that and edit when I can, sometimes it's just good to be as raw as possible, sometimes not. But either way, you've seen this and you can be assured that I am not an android sent from the future to stop a math related apocalypse. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Mm hmm. Yep, definitely not an Android. Cyborg? It's up for debate. <laughs> well, okay, I'm not a cyborg either. Not yet. But anyway, back on track. So, I chose that poster because it's cool, but also because I really like music, I really like math, and those two worlds aren't as separate as some might think, and a lot of people have made that connection already. And um, so I think that's pretty cool. Another poster that I got, but didn't get an opportunity to hang yet, but will in the future. Uh, I'm not sure how that will work with filming. I'm still working on all that, but it's a picture of nature. There's a lot of math in nature too. And one of the biggest take home messages that I have on this channel is that math is everywhere. It surrounds us. It is the force. I did a video on that. That's awesome. And eventually I might actually <laughs> like link things at the end of videos too, or more in the description once I really get going with this. But my whole thing is that with math, it is everywhere. It's the language that we chose to speak about the universe in. And the cool part is, like, even if you take away the formulas and, you know, typical tools that we've come to develop surrounding math, the actual math would still be there. Like numbers, for instance, if I don't call one, one, it's still there, right? What it represents, it's still there. And I mean, I can call one by many things, right? I can represent that many ways. It's a really powerful number. I, um, I could say it in different languages. I could write it out differently. It's pretty cool. But you know, more on that in another video, perhaps. Ooh, yeah. More on that in another video. That's an idea. How is it not an idea before? I don't know. But my whole thing is like, yeah, I got a poster now. <laughs> it's been a while. But this is the first poster I've had in a while. This is the first poster 
that I've had is Professor Prime is the first poster in my new apartment. How about that? In any case, I hope you all enjoyed the video and that you were mildly amused. I hope. In any case, Professor Prime out.